It was in this era that Florida Legislative Investigation Committee, fresh off its dismal performance of rooting out communists from the state, decided to turn its sights on homosexuals. This is the cover of the committee's official special report. The committee's special report opens by stating that homosexuality is, and far too long has been, a skeleton in the closet of society, and that the best current estimate of active homosexuals in Florida is 60,000 individuals. The report continues by stating, The plain fact of the matter is that a great many homosexuals have an insatiable appetite for sexual activities and find special gratification in the recruitment to their ranks of youth, and that the homosexual's goal is to bring over the young person, to hook him for homosexuality. The committee began by searching Florida schools. The result was an assault on individual rights, intellectual tolerance, and academic freedom. The committee's investigators interrogated hundreds of students, teachers, and administrators, often in semi-secret off-campus locations, instilling a climate of fear and intimidation within the state university system, causing the firing of 39 professors and deans for suspected homosexuality, and the revoking of licenses of 71 public school teachers. The old myths that fueled the Florida Legislative Investigation Committee would later resurface in Anita Bryant's Save Our Children campaign conjuring up images of predatory school teachers and manipulating public opinion in a successful referendum to turn back anti-discrimination legislation in Florida and igniting similar actions across the nation.